Shall I just compile a list of the things that have gone wrong this morning and just, you know, overwhelmingly ended up sending me to buy Costa coffee at 10 to 8 because I just, I just couldn't cope. I could not cope. Um, so basically, yeah, let's just get through this portion of the births, deaths and marriages. I think that any time I mention my birthday, now it's going to result in the death of something. Basically, mention the fact on Twitter that my birthday was a month away, grandmother died, actually had the birthday, yesterday we had to have a dog put to sleep because it got severely ill. Now, you know, neither of these things were surprises, but both of the times that they chose to happen, well, you know, timing, coincidences, fate, heaven, hell, I don't know, maybe I worship the wrong Celtic goddess in a previous life, I don't know, maybe I was a fucking Nazi, I don't know, don't believe it myself, quite liberal in my leanings, but you never know, You, we've all seen Xena Warrior Princess, we, we've seen the episode where she came back as Joxa. Anyway, so, basically, woke up at five, thought, oh great, you've got another hour in bed, well, yes. Yes, I did. I slept for an hour and a half, and then when I woke up, my mother was in the bathroom. So I thought, well, this gives you a bit more time until she comes out. And I could have slept. I could have slept a lot longer than I did actually. And then I woke up, and I looked outside and thought, it's a bit cold, so I'm gonna put a shirt on, but a t-shirt underneath it in case it gets too hot. Well, guess what? It's still a bit nippy, but I should have just worn the shirt. <sighs> right. So anyway, can't grip anything today. Don't know what's going on with my hands, but every time I've tried to grip something, I've dropped it everything. I am talking pills, I'm talking shower bottles, I'm even talking about my coffee nearly, but instead I chose to lose the grip on the door. I don't know what is actually happening. My car is currently diagonal, but that's not the worst of the things that's happened this morning, so let's go through it. Drive to work, basically perfectly fine, apart from at one point, I decided that I was going to overtake these three cars on the dual carriageway because they were all going incredibly slowly. I'm talking, we weren't getting above 30 here. So I thought, let's overtake them all. And then the car in front of me decided to overtake them. But then it blocked me and stopped me from overtaking the other two cars. Then they all moved into r the right-hand lane anyway, so I could end up going past them. And they all turned off towards McDonald's and AstraZeneca. And I'm like, why couldn't you have done that before, really? Seriously, honestly, why couldn't you have actually just not been pricks and maybe just gone the way that you wanted to flame and go, yes, I understand that maybe they shouldn't be using the right-hand lane when they are, but, you know, they were going to turn right, there's nothing else on the road, I don't care, they were going slow. That's fine, that's fine, black car, going too slow, can't overtake because we're on the part of the dual carriageway where it can't be overtaken, end up following it all the way to point and but then it turns off somewhere where it had to slow down completely, I was in a second gear. Anyway, basically, on Monday, they're going to have temporary traffic lights at two places in Poynton on my way to work. So we've already decided at work and I decided myself that I was going to come the country way into work. I've done that way home before when I've um, taken my manager home and things. Uh, well, I didn't take her home when I took my manager to collect her car. But my manager lives up there and I've been to her house before. Anyway, didn't need to know that, but it might be vital for the next part of the story because rather than take the second left-hand turn, because literally it is just two left turns, I decided to carry on driving and ended up on some road I don't know where I had two horse riders coming towards me and I thought, oh, this is definitely not where I'm supposed to be. So then I ended up reversing into somebody's drive and I'm hoping beyond hope that this like I didn't affect this person's driving anyway, knocking something over because it looked extremely posh, like this looked like a million pound house and I'm driving my four... This this isn't a Ford, this is a Toyota Yaris towards it, reversing it. Anyway, I actually turn back around, realise at the end of the road, I'm actually at my manager's house. So then I eventually find my way back to work, well, back to the road that I want, which I actually drove past and thought, I'm sure I'm supposed to do something with that road. Yes, I was supposed to drive down it. And then a Brit on the bridge, someone was too close on my side, so that nearly caused an accident. And then I got into work and I spent about five minutes trying to reverse my car into the space that I've been reversing it into for over, well, nearly a year now, only to think that maybe it's because all of my nan's things are currently in the car because we're emptying her house. I brought some yesterday, and I brought some today, and all I can think is that all these items are cursed because she was notorious for not being able to drive. She took her test I don't know how many times, and I think I am stuck in the car with some sort of cursed items that are slowly eking into my skin. Some sort of supernatural curse. I don't know. But 
it's been terrible. And uh, I got downstairs this morning and there was no cup of tea for me. And I was cursing my father because the items that are in my car currently weren't in there last night. He's been and put them in. But he didn't make me a cup of tea. Left before making me a cup of tea. So I didn't have time to make myself a cup of tea because I wanted to get here and record a video. Didn't want to record this video. Didn't want to do this. But instead, this is what you got because bloody hell has it been some stressful time in the car for Charlie. It should only take about 20 minutes to get here. The way that I'm going to have to take is going to add extra time onto the route. So I don't actually know whether I'd just be better coming through the temporary traffic lights anyway. So I think I'm going to try temporary traffic lights on Monday and see just what they're like. <sighs> Not even tried this coffee from Costa yet. I feel sorry for the person in there because I was basically half asleep whilst I was talking to him large yeah yeah take out yeah you just give me coffee give me something to wake me up people don't realize when i'm at work i only sleep about five or six hours because my body doesn't want to go to sleep five or six hours is probably a lot for people but it's not for me and sometimes it's not even five or six given all the times you wake up and all the disturbances we don't even need to get into that anyway it's been a fortnight. If you do still have any questions for the Q&A that I'm holding to celebrate three years on Booktube, no longer 300 subscribers, I think that it's going to drop below that at some point and we just can't be getting into that. Then please feel free to go over to my Q&A announcement video that I'll link somewhere probably maybe never and ask me a question. Like Charlie, why don't you just jack it all in and become a hermit? And honestly... It's simply cash. And it's too hot at night to be a prostitute. I hope you got something out of this video. And until next time, that is all.